Okay, in this video, I'm going to show how to program the sweep uh, function for the uh, FuelTech FY2300. This is a 20 megahertz unit, which comes with the combo kit for the RPX uh, 2.0. This is a uh, electro delivery um, rife machine invented by John Bedini. It's the only legitimate electro delivery rife machine in the world because of the uh, low frequency carrier, which gets around the skin effect. And if it doesn't have that, it's fake. Um, this is a signal generator right here and so the switch is already on it's connected to a battery through the 5 volt um, USB port on a portable lithium battery so I'm going to turn that on and we're going to it's going to take a second to boot up okay now once it boots up um, it has a settings for channel 1 or channel 2 which this is channel 1 and this is channel 2 uh, let's see I'll scoot this over just a little bit you can see the jacks right here um, we're only going to use channel 1. Just out of habit, I click channel 2 two times to turn that green light off. So only channel 1 is on. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the sweep function. And when we're on a sweep function, um, this is already pre-programmed to sweep from 100 hertz to 150 kilohertz. And it will just do that repeatedly over and over and over. And... Uh, uh, that's the protocol that John Bedini had and so what we're going to do is to learn how to let, let's just say we want to go from 100 Hertz to uh, 200 uh, thousand Hertz okay normally the audio range is about 40 45 thousand Hertz on an analog um, uh, signal generator um, this can go quite a bit higher which means it's going to cover wider range even stuff that uh, Rife did not uh, account for but the point is is okay anyway you're here at the screen it says sine wave on sweep and so um, right here it says object is frequency now if we click F1 F1 will will change the object frequency amplitude um, offset or duty cycle so it says FREQ for frequency AMPL for amplitude offset and duty cycle. So we're going to change it back to frequency. That's the first object which you can uh, go through by clicking the F1 button and right next to the F1 button is set in light, lightish blue it says OBJE for object. So you know that you're selecting the object. So while it's on frequency the different options here is next to F2 you can see STA that means the start frequency and F3 is end which is the ending frequency. So we want to start at 100 uh, hertz and we want to end at 150 kilohertz before it repeats. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit F2 for start. Now we get to uh, uh, change and edit what the starting frequency is. Right now it's at 100 hertz. So let's just say we want 1 hertz, 1 cycle per second, or we can say hertz since it's sine wave, that would be accurate. Um, here's a left and a right button. Uh, the cursor is going to be illuminated by that bright red square uh, right there and what we're going to do since it's on Hertz is we're going to do the right arrow 1, 2 over to the hundredth uh, place and we're going to go 0, we're going to go right, right and then we're going to turn the dial clockwise to increase that number 1. If you want it 11 Hertz you go left arrow so that the cursor is on the uh, tenth place and you can go for example one two three four five so it's fifty one hertz so if you want three hundred fifty one hertz you go three five one and so you just go left and right to put it at the decimal place that you want or the number place uh, you can go uh, to ninety ninth point ninety nine is the highest you can go on the decimal uh, and then after the period you got the first second the tens hundred thousand, ten thousand, one hundred thousand, and then we got one million, and then we got um, the ten millions place. And um, this will go up to 20 megahertz. So right now we have it set for 351. Whichever um, place you have the cursor on, clockwise on the dial is up and counterclockwise is down. So I'm just going to go back here and I'm just going to say, let's say 200 hertz. Okay, I got it in the hundredths place, clockwise. Okay, now it's at 300. So I'm just going to leave it at that. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the ending frequency if I want it to go from 300 hertz to say um, 45,000 hertz. Okay, so it's set at 150 kilohertz. So I'm going to go left to get rid of that 100 kilohertz. Now it's at 50 kilohertz or 50 uh, 50,000 hertz. I mean, now that's at 50,000 hertz. I'm going to reduce that five down to four. I'm going to come over to the um, one thousands place and I'm going to go clockwise to five. So it's 45,000 hertz or 45 kilohertz. So it's now set to sweep from 300 hertz to 45 kilohertz. Now the other settings available is F4 says time. And when it says time, right now it's preset for 10 seconds. That means it's going to take 10 seconds to sweep from 300 hertz to 45,000 hertz. Okay, so we're going to hit time. It's at 10 seconds. And let's say we want it to sweep that whole range uh, over 5 seconds. So we're going to go to the ones place to the left of the zero. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now if there's a number over here and you bring it to zero, it'll automatically put a point zero one because you obviously can't have zero time. So it'll default to a minimum of point zero one seconds, which is really, really fast. So I'll just leave that point oh one there. So it's set for five point zero one seconds. So again, F4 is time. You can go clockwise to increase the number, counterclockwise to decrease the number, and you can go left or right arrow in order to change the place that you're at. Um, F5 says mode, and what mode is, is either logarithmic or linear. Okay, you just hit F5 over and over. So you hit F5 for linear or F5 for logarithmic. You will not want to use logarithmic. That's more like a uh, Richter scale to keep everything within the same type of uh, scale, uh, like on a screen, where you go from like maybe 1 uh, to 10. Um, or to a, like a hundred and that would take it off the screen in a linear sense but under logarithmic you would keep it all kind of in the same screen so you can see everything at once but you have to know that everything is going up in different orders of magnitude but we're not going to be using logarithmic we're going to be using linear because we just want a linear progression from the low frequency to the high frequency in a very linear fashion okay so right now it says um, uh, we set the frequency, start and end, the time and the linear mode. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to object which is set for frequency and we're going to hit F1 and we're going to go to amplitude. Once we're on amplitude, notice that on the RPX it says right there sine wave input 2.1 volts max. You don't want to go above that because right when you put audio into here um, there's a little class A amplifier, uh, miniature class A amplifier circuit that boosts that signal uh, before it's mixed with the um, uh, the 3.1 megahertz fundamental uh, before it goes to a RF amplifier chip and so to limit it to 2.1 volts when it's on amplitude you do the same thing like setting the frequency which is a start voltage and end voltage um, that's if you want to start at a low voltage while it's sweeping and increase the voltage over time as it gets to a higher frequency, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to hit F2, which is start uh, voltage, and it's set for 2.1 volts. Again, you just go left and right to get to the decimal place that you want. Um, clockwise is increase, counterclockwise is decrease. So we're just going to set it at 2.1 for the start. We're going to hit F3 and we're going to set it to 2.1 uh, volts also for the end and the time is still set there you can change the time or the mode while you're in the amplitude settings but since you already set those under the frequency you don't have to reset them so we're in amplitude the next one we're going to do is we're going to click F1 to change the object we went frequency we went to amplitude now we're going to go to offset offset just keep it at all zeros for start and finish those are going to be all zeros and then the fourth object is going to be duty cycle and again start and finish F2 is the start duty cycle and 
F3 is going to be the end duty cycle, which means it's going to be a perfect um, sine wave where 50-50, 50% is like above the line and 50% is below the line. And you do not want to change those. You want to use as perfect of a sine wave as possible. So now that you have, and the same thing, you just use the left and right to go to the different decimals. Clockwise is increase, counterclockwise is decrease. So we're at 50-50 duty cycle. Okay, we can hit F1 again to go to frequency. And um, uh, what we're going to do is to start the sweep, all we do is hit the dial like this. And you can see that it's starting to sweep from the low frequency of 300 up to 45 kilohertz. And we have it set to go through that every five seconds. 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. So every five seconds it's going to sweep. And so if you want to increase or decrease that, you hit F4 for time. It'll automatically stop the sweep. And let's just say we want it to sweep all that in one second. Well, in one second, that's pretty fast. So every time, every one second, one one thousand, one one thousand, one one thousand. It's sweeping from 300 to 45 kilohertz. Now, the way that it works with the RPX is that um, it's normally set by default, I believe, to 10 seconds from 100 to 150 kilohertz. Okay, well, there's different schools of thought, and so if you want to um, hit things more often, the frequencies more often with the sidebands, you decrease the time, and then it's going to hit it more frequent, like bam, 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 bam. Or you can slow down the time, and let's just say we go to 31 seconds. Okay, well, then it's going to go zzzz, you know, over half a minute just to go through that scan, which means as it's hitting different sideband frequencies, it's staying on those a little bit longer. Even though it never stops on one, it's just progressing through the frequencies a lot slower, which means it's remaining in one uh, frequency, you know, for a little, little bit longer time. So you can either have it sweep over and over multiple times or um, uh, just progress through it slower, whichever one you want to do. Also, when you have um, the different frequencies that you know you want to sweep, you can also narrow the sweep frequency down towards a more narrow uh, band. And so maybe you want 300 to 500, or maybe you want 10,000 to 12,000. Then it'll just sweep through that, and obviously we'll hit it more often. And on top of that, you can make it do it slow, or you can make it do it fast. So it's very, very versatile. Hopefully that helps you out. That's how to... Um, uh, set the sweep function and to stop it you just hit stop and if you want to save this you go to sys sys and then you can see all these buttons right here um, f1 is save f2 is load and so what you can do is you can hit f1 for save and let's say you want to um, save it on s04 and I think there's maybe like, I don't know, 10, maybe 16 settings or something, however many are in here, maybe eight. Um, so I'm going to save it for F4. Okay. So what that means is if I turn this off and I turn it back on. Okay. And I'm going to hit the sweep button. Okay. By default, it's at the last setting that we saved, 300 to 4,500 kilohertz.